Hey everyone, there he is, finished. So yeah, I am, uh, this has to be, there are some brick points here, this has to be the best thing I've ever made. I mean, it's just, it's come out so much better than I thought it would, you know. It's one of these things that I looked at it when I first started and I thought, you know, oh, it's a project I'm never probably gonna, actually going to start, I'm never actually going to do anything with. And then I sort of started on it and I thought, oh uh, yeah, it's good. it could work. And then I did a bit more and I thought, actually, it looks really good. And then I started drawing out spheres and things, uh, the uh, panels. And I thought, mm, it's a bit out of proportion, it's, you know, it's not going to look quite right. And, and it just all came together and it's, it's just, it's not in proportion, you know. It's, it has its rough edges, you know, bits of it don't look quite right and uh, the dome is definitely out of proportion, that's the one thing I think that does let it down. But overall, it's, it's, I'm so proud of it and I'm so pleased how well it's come out and it's just something that's, you know, that, that is just, a, it's just such a unique piece, it's such a lovely thing to have in the, have in a collection. So, we move on to the question of what is next. Now I've had a few people saying, oh you should build a full size TARDIS, you should build a full size Dalek. And before people jump in the comments telling me that I need to do that, let me just say, I would love to do that. But I simply don't have space. I am not ruling out that as a project in future. Owning a full size uh, TARDIS, possibly a full size Dalek, is a dream of mine. And it's a dream I hope to achieve one day, but whether that means I have to buy one and build it myself uh, remains to be seen, but it's just the fact that I don't have the space to do it. I need the space before I can do something like that. However, I do have a couple of other little projects planned along this line of this guy. One, at some point in the future I would try, like to try and make a 5 inch version of this guy. Now, surprisingly, that is a lot more difficult than it sounds. Because when you're working in a large scale like this, you've got larger pieces, it's easier to work with. Uh, imagine trying to do a puzzle with four pieces and then doing a puzzle with a million pieces. It's a lot easier than it sounds to do it in a larger scale because smaller scale is much more fiddly, the parts are uh, difficult to get hold of in some places like such as I can make all of this but I have no idea where I get the spheres from because I would have to probably buy a Dalek and cut them off and that's quite a difficult thing to do. Um, so yeah, so that's one thing. The other thing, which I'm going to turn into again another live from the workshop special, is I have decided that I'm going to make a full scale something, and it is going to be a full scale K9. I was watching School Reunion with my girlfriend last night, and I looked at K9 and I thought, he is quite boxy. He's very boxy and very panelly, and it would actually be quite an easy thing to do. So I've looked it up online, I've looked up some measurements and things like that, and I actually think I could do that and I could make him full scale. I don't know whether he'd be exactly the right scale because uh, obviously it's a very specific scale in the new series and in the old series and then the, some of the figures you've got is much smaller than he should be. So whether my version will be absolutely perfect in scale I don't know but I might do the same as I did with this guy and just go with my own measurements and make it to a specific scale, so he could be one to one, or he could be one to two, or well, this guy is one to three and a half. You know, it's it varies, but the point is, he will at least be lifelike in scale. You know, if, if, even if he's a bit smaller or a bit bigger, probably a bit smaller. So yeah, that's uh, we bring this one, this live to the workshop to the end with this guy. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, favourite, like, subscribe, share, because if I'm honest, uh, I would love to see this cropping up on forums and things like that of people sharing it, because this is the kind of thing that might actually bring people to view my channel, <laughs> among other things. Um, so yeah, by all means, share. Um, and that is the end of this large-scale live from the workshop, but as I just said, I shall see you all with another one very soon.